Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, TireRack.com, and RockAuto.com. Welcome to the start of the 41st season of Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. When it comes to old school vehicles that have changed little over time, the first classic that probably comes to mind is the Jeep Wrangler. So it's perhaps the last one you would expect to have an electric charge port. But we all know that things are changing more rapidly these days, and Jeep is fully on board with what battery power can bring to the table. And yes, even to the trail. If there's one model we thought might never make the transition to battery power, it was the Jeep Wrangler. Well, the joke's on all of us, as Jeep is wasting no time embracing the electrified future with this 2021 Wrangler 4xE, the first of three plug-ins planned for this year. The main thing to know about this plug-in hybrid is that it still drives just like a Wrangler. The biggest difference is it can run almost silently on battery power, not something we're used to in a rugged utility like this. Now, it's not as powerful feeling as most full EVs or even some other PHEVs, as the gas engine seems to kick in to help out whenever you go full throttle. The 4xE is rated for 22 miles of EV only driving, and you can select when to use it. We saw as many as 26 miles available on the gauge and got fairly close to achieving that. Once you've exhausted those EV miles, hybrid mode transitions from electric to gas are mostly seamless, only really hearing the engine under hard acceleration. The one noticeable downside to the whole experience is that you can really hear the HVAC system buzzing when driving on strictly battery power. The 4xE's 17 kilowatt hour battery is located inside the vehicle, packaged beneath the rear seat, leaving cargo space intact, as well as keeping it out of the elements. It feeds energy to a pair of electric motors, one replacing the alternator on the front of the engine and one integrated into the eight-speed automatic transmission. No manual available with this plug-in powertrain. The gas engine is Jeep's two-liter i4 turbo, which when combined with the electric motors, sees the total output jump to a healthy 375 horsepower with a stout 470 pound-feet of torque. So it was off to Mason-Dixon Dragway to see what the 4xE is capable of. Even though the 2.0 turbo felt a bit laggy off the line with battery boost, the 4xE is capable of zero to 60 in six seconds. Indeed, that's about a second faster than a Wrangler with a gas V6. The Turbo 4 comes into its own at the higher end of the tack. Automatic shifts are quick and smooth, and like all Wranglers, it tends to wander a bit at high speeds. The quarter mile, 15 seconds at 93 miles per hour. Now, no vehicle designed with off-pavement use as a priority is going to tear up a slalom course and the copious amounts of body roll and numb steering felt here had us feeling like we were one bad move away from trouble. But having driven plenty of Wranglers over the years, we knew to back off way before approaching that danger zone and also know there are plenty of safety measures in place these days to keep that from happening as well. In the transition to PHEV status, there have been no compromises of the Wrangler's trail rated capabilities. Four-wheel drive with two-speed transfer case is still standard. Now, Jeep claims the integration of electric power only enhances the Wrangler's off-road performance. To find out for ourselves, we made use of the e-save mode while on the pavement to hit the trail under strictly battery power, allowing us to tread more lightly than ever. When it comes to our muddy mid-Atlantic, local trail hounds will tell you you're only as good as your tires. And our Sahara trim tester struggled to find grip at times, but was mostly unstoppable thanks to its select track four-wheel drive system. So on we went. In addition to a charge port at the base of the left A-pillar, 4xE Wranglers get special electric blue trim, but not much else to set it apart from every other modern Wrangler. Government fuel economy ratings are 20 combined, 49 combined for the MPGE. Starting off with a full charge, we average 31 miles per gallon on regular. 
which beats what we got in the Wrangler Eco Diesel by two and a half miles per gallon and delivers a much better than average energy impact score of 8.7 barrels of yearly oil use with 3.8 tons of CO2 emissions. Four by E's are available exclusively as unlimited four doors in three trims, Sahara, high altitude, and even Rubicon, starting at $51,300 before any government tax incentives. It only seems fitting for a brand that relies on a vehicle that was designed in the mid 20th century would use that vehicle to fully push the brand into the 21st. Is it a full EV? No. Is it a huge step in that direction? Yes. The 2021 Jeep Wrangler 4xe is the most technically advanced Jeep yet and a whole new way to be a pioneering off-road leader.